Welcome to another video. This is a differential equation because it's an equation involving the derivative of a function and the function. Okay, or a part of the function or just some variable there, but you just need to find what the function is. So, um, maybe in the next two weeks or three weeks, I will be uploading at least one video on differential equations and I might cover the entire series of differential equations, just solving one problem at a time and explaining how to solve differential equations of all kinds. So, because I'm trying to work on partial differential equations because I'm going to go into them, but you cannot solve partial differential equations if you cannot even solve differential equations. So, let's talk about this one. There's a suspicion you would have right from the beginning. How could the derivative of y still include y? There's only one function that I know that behaves like that. It's e to the x. See, when you take the derivative of e to the x, you still get e to the x. If you take the derivative of e to the 3x, e to the 3x is still part of your answer. You can never get rid of it. And your suspicion should always lead you in that direction. If the derivative of something includes that same thing, that same thing has something to do with e to the x. Let's get into it. So let's talk about differential equations in general. There are different types of differential equations, but as we can see from this problem, this has been differentiated just once. It's just dy dx, not d2y dx squared. So this is just y prime. And because it was differentiated once, we call it a first order differential equation. It is also, we don't know if it is separable or not yet, because if it's separable, it makes our life easy because that's something you can do in calculus too. If it is separable, you can just integrate. Okay, it's easy integration. You don't need a special technique for solving it. And I think um, we can get this to be separable. That's why I chose it. it. This is the easiest type of differential equations. Okay, so let's see what we can do with the right-hand side. If you want to separate the terms of a differential equation, you want to make sure that all the y's can stay on the left and all the x's can stay on the right. Right now, everything looks mixed up. Let's see if we can put things together. So what I'm going to have here, I'll say that this is equal to 1 minus x. I can factor out y from here because that's what is expected of you to do, which is y times 1 minus x. So clearly, I can see 1 minus x in two places. I can factor 1 minus x out so that what I have left, if I divide this by this, I'm going to get 1. If I divide this by this, I'm going to get plus y. So it looks like my dy dx is this. And this is what you call a separable differential equation. So let's separate this, okay? Let's move this in this way so that if we multiply both sides by dx, we're going to end up with dy will be equal to 1 minus x times 1 plus y times dx. But we want the y to be on this side, so we're going to divide both sides by 1 plus y so that we have dy divided by 1 plus y will be equal to 1 minus x dx. And this can give us a separable differential equation such that if we integrate both sides, this one we have to integrate with respect to y, and this we in integrate with, res with respect to x. Why is that hard to say? So I can do it this way. I can say the integral of the left-hand side, which is 1 over 1 plus y dy, will be the integral of the right-hand side, 1 minus x dx. As you can see, this is easy to integrate once you know how to integrate. There's no special technique required. Okay, so how do we integrate this? Well, 1 over a function dy is going to be just the natural log of the absolute value of that function, right? 
Okay, so here we're going to say this is equal to the integral of this is natural log of 1 plus y. Now, should we say plus c? For the sake of this video, I'm going to say plus c1, okay? Let's go to the right-hand side. This is going to be the integral of this is going to be if we integrate 1 minus x squared, it's just plain integration. There's no special substitution. If you integrate 1, what do you get? You're going to get x. If you integrate this, you're going to get x squared over 2. And we're going to add a constant. Let's call it plus c2. Okay? Now, if you move this c1 to this side, it will become c2 minus c1. But c2 minus c1 is a constant. So instead of us putting a constant here in the first place, we did not have to. I just wanted you to see that you didn't have to put a constant here. Because if we put it here, c2 uh, minus c1, let me write it here, minus c1. Let me move it away from here. This can be written as just c. Okay, so that's why we only put the constant on the right-hand side. Okay, now, let's finish this up. So, that's it. We're almost done. Well, remember what we're looking for is y. We're not looking for 1 minus y. We're looking for y. So what do we do? Well, in order to release this guy here, we didn't have to use absolute value function 1 plus y. Maybe it's okay, but... Here we're just going to say, if you take the e of both sides, you have 1 plus y will be equal to e raised to power all of this, which is x minus x squared over 2 plus c. We can move this one over to that side so that y equals e to the x plus x squared, sorry, minus x squared over 2 plus c minus 1. Okay, you can leave your answer this way, but a lot of times this C doesn't fit, you know, that group, so you want to separate this. So, remember that you could write this as e to the x minus x squared over 2 times e to the c minus 1. Now, this e to the c is another constant, which I can ultimately call c, another c, or just give it another name. I'll call it c1. Okay, so I just say this is C1 times e to the x. Maybe I should have called this C, C3. Yeah, because this was C1, C2. So call this C3, C3, C3. Call this C3 and then call this C. Nice. Okay, x minus x squared over 2 minus 1. So as you can see, the suspicion from the beginning that this had to do with e raised to power something was actually true. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.